Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, let's talk about a real common problem. You go out to your toolbox and you're trying to find that correct size collet for your cutting tool. But the collet you're looking for isn't there. What are my options? So let's start off with an easy one and it's what we're going to stick with through the entire video. You have a half inch cutting tool and you need to put this into an ER32 collet chuck. Now the process I'm going to talk about is valid for all ER series and pretty much every single tool size we deal with. So what are my options if I don't have an ER32 collet in half inch size? Well, let's go to the catalog. In this case, I'm in our brand new RegoFix catalog and I'm on page 140. And you can find our catalog link down below or you can find it on our website, making it nice and easy to find. So on page 140, I have the entire listing of ER32 metric sizes that will fit and also the inch sizes. Well, if we start off with inch, obviously I have the half inch size, but hey, let's face it, the guy from third shift lost it, I can't find it, whatever my excuse is, I need something else. So let's look at what my options are. If you scan through and you look at all of our catalog uh, tables that are in there, you're gonna see you have a listing for the basic nominal size, you have the metric range, and you have an equivalent inch range as well. This allows us to find which collets work. Obviously, looking down through here, starting at 12 and a half, if we look at that, 12.5 millimeters just isn't big enough. And I'm actually gonna demonstrate what it looks like in a few minutes when you shove a half inch tool into that 12.5. It's just a bad situation. If we look at the 13 millimeter, you can see that I have a range from 0.5118 down to 0.4724. Well, my half inch size fits perfectly well within that range. That is a suitable option for this cutting tool. Well, if I look at that same range for the 13.5, I see that I can go from 0.5315 all the way down to 0.4921. That is also a suitable option. So if I have either a 13 or a 13.5 millimeter collet in my toolbox, I can assemble it. Well, let's take a look at how each of those do assemble for a, a cutting tool that's not nominal size. So let's move over to the Torco block and do an assembly. Okay, so we've moved over to our Torco block to do the demonstration for you. So I have a Cat40 ER32 holder down inside the Torco block, and we're still trying to find the correct collet for our half inch tool. So I've got five different collets set up over here, and I'm going from 12 and a half millimeter all the way up to 14 millimeter to show what happens if I try to stretch a collet or I try to go down too far on either end. And then I have three collets in the middle that obviously will fit for the half inch. One being the half inch size, one being a 13 millimeter, and one being a 13.5. So let's go through and do an assembly on each. And I think once you see exactly how much gap is in the collet bore to the cutting tool and how much the collet has to move, you'll have a better idea of which ones are the best options and we'll talk about that when it's all over. So let me grab that very first tool and we're going to start off with the ones that actually work. So the best option for a half inch tool obviously is the half inch collet. So let's start with that assembly and then we'll take a look at how that tool fits. So as with all RegoFix ER32 collets and the high q nut, the, the collet snaps in, makes it nice and easy and you can see I don't have to turn the nut very far before it clamps down on the cutting tool. Now from here I would torque it and I'd be good to go. But like we said in the intro, we can't find that ER32 half inch collet, the guy from third shift lost that, or it's just been misplaced. So we're going to slide that one out of the way. It's not an option for this assembly. My next option is the 13 to 12.0 collet. 
has plenty of range, and we just talked about what that range is and how the half inch fits within it. Let's go ahead and do our assembly. Now on this one, you're gonna notice I have to turn the collet just a little bit more to get it to grab. So the collet is stopped, and about right there, it grabs onto the cutting tool. Now I would torque that down, perfectly fine for this application. But you did hopefully see the slight gap that was between the OD of the cutting tool and the ID of the collet, but that's not really an issue. A lot of the other people out there that make ER collets put the soft inch size right on the face of the collet to make it nice and easy so you know that that 13 millimeter does work for a half inch. But what about 13.5? down to 12 and a half. Well, the half inch size, 12.7, is within that range, but it's really close to the bottom. So what's that look like? What you're gonna notice here is a considerable gap between the OD and the ID. So it may take me a moment to get this clamp down all the way. And there we go all the way down. And what you will notice uh, when we do the close-up shot on this is the, the gap in my slots is actually getting quite a bit smaller. And that's okay, a collet is made to collapse and those slots are made to allow the segments to move. And that's why making sure they are the correct manufacturing process and shape of those slots is very important to get consistent TIR. So with this, I could put my torque wrench on that tighten this up to 100 foot-pounds, and I'm good to go. Well, those are the only sizes that theoretically work, right? Well, what if I'm in my toolbox and I don't have a 13 or a 13.5, and I still have to use that half-inch tool? I have a 12.5, and I have a 14 millimeter. Will any of these work? Well, let's take a look at that 12.5. And we're going to go ahead and snap that in the collet or in the nut. Start doing my assembly, and right off the bat, you can see it really does not want to go in. I can push it in, which is literally springing the collet. That's a really bad idea. I've changed the profile of that collet. It's no longer correct. It's not going to sit in the collet cavity correctly. So if you're ever doing an assembly and the tool won't go in easily, don't do it. Find the correct size collet range for it and go from there. So the 12 and a half, even though it's only 0.2 millimeters too small, is not a viable option. So let's go ahead and get that collet out of there. Put that back in your toolbox. Well, what about the 14 to 13? It's 0.3 millimeters too large. Will it clamp down far enough? The technical answer is no, but what happens if you actually do it? Go ahead and put this guy in, and there's no point in putting the tool in yet. We're gonna get this collet moving first, see if we can get down far enough. Still too much, still too much. And it's not gonna go down far enough. So there's not enough movement on the 14 to 13 to actually clamp down to a size below that 13. ER collets have a designated clamping range depending on, the, depending on their ER series, whether it be a half millimeter or one millimeter. Anything within that range is fair game and suitable to be used. I hope the information we just covered on how to select the right size collet is helpful. Now you can apply that information in the process for finding the correct collet fairly easily to any tool size that you have that fits within the ER range. First thing you want to do, consult your RegoFix catalog. If you still have questions, feel free to contact the RegoFix technical team. We are here to help you and answer any questions you might have. My name is David McHenry. Thank you for watching RegoFix Tech Chat.